Bud is getting ready to take his afternoon nap. Ain't that right, boy? Hmm? Took a half your afternoon nap, ain't you? Yeah, I know. You gonna lay down on that pillar and spread out? Yeah. He's a good old boy. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. He must have stink here. Anyway. Good evening, folks. Ed Kirkpatrick and Spud. And howdy, folks. The old Spud in introduction there. Yeah, good evening everybody at Kirkpatrick. Thanks for stopping by, dropping in. I'm parachuting down to the best kept secret on YouTube. That's Bud over where he's, he's a digging himself a, a spot. There he is. That's his bed. Mine's over, over yonder. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, uh, man, what are we going to do? When did we quit? teaching common sense I mean geez I <clears throat> alright I'm an old man I'm an old fart what are you going to call it <clears throat> I get around a lot of young people and part of my job at work is to help them and, and I'll give it one thing now this generation coming up man they tell you how to download a file to a I tablet or how to download the whole i tablet to your phone uh they know how to reach out there in cloud and grab something make it work uh man they set your tv up if you're into that you know wi-fi smart tv they know how to do it they know how to do all that stuff <clears throat> and that's good but when did we stop teaching common sense The other day, I had a young man pull up. <clears throat> He'd been there about a month. And it was time to, to kind of go size him out. He's pulling up to the lot, you know. To go out there and say hi and fiddle around. Kind of look at his truck. Do a kind of inspection. See if the inside's full of, you know, drive through trash bags and all that kind of junk. I check them out. It's my job. And uh, I asked that boy, I said, when's the last time you checked the oil in this thing? <clears throat> That's the fallacy, you know. The older guys get the newer trucks. And the newer guys get the older trucks. And the newer guys don't know nothing about trucks. <clears throat> so he said, I, I, I ain't never checked the oil in it. Ain't he got one of them lights that come on? I said, well, it does, but it's still a good idea to check the oil, know what the level is, know what the color of it is, and what it smells like. I said, what it smells like? He just kind of, <laughs> he thought I was joking. I said, uh, pop the hood. Okay. So he goes uh, looking all underneath the steering wheel and everything. I don't, I don't see where you pop it. So I got under there and it's under the steering wheel, but it's over on the side panel of the door. The lever you left up. Oh, there it is. He walks around there in the front, you know, and kind of looks at me and it's opened up. Okay, he goes fiddling his hands and everything around there. And I said, here, it's, it's right here, and I show you. You stick it over your hand just above that little Toyota emblem, about that far. And this little lever that you push up. It only latches the hood. So he does, he picks that hood up and just kind of throws it up and turns around. That, you know, the hood slams, blam! <clears throat> and uh, I said, 
You the hood up. Yeah, yeah. Something wrong with that hood. It won't stay up. <clears throat> I said, just get the hood up again. This time, don't let it go. I'm going to show you something. <clears throat> so he pulls the hood up. And uh, I got some microphones coming, folks. It's going to make this a whole lot better. <clears throat> and uh, I said, hang on a minute. And I, I grabbed that little rod. You know, you pull up. Holds the hood up. Oh. I thought the hood's supposed to hold itself up. I said, well, MBMWs and Cadillacs do that, but these Toyotas don't necessarily do that. I said, all right, go ahead and check the oil. And he's like, well, I don't, how you check the oil? This guy's serious. I said, uh, said, right there, that little yellow thing says oil level on it. It's got two little finger holes. Stick your finger hole in it. Pull it out. He did. So that's what they call a dipstick. I want to say that's what they call a dipstick. Dipstick. That's what they call a dipstick. Look on the bottom of it. <clears throat> Always take a rag and wipe the tip off. Stick it back in there all the way. Count to three and then pull it out and see what your oil level is. So why can't you just read it the first time you pull it out? It's because it's going to have a lot of residual jumped up all over it from when you was idling here before you turned it off. You want the engine half, you know, cool. And... Okay, so. Here we go. And look, here's a quart low. I said, your quart low. I ain't tell that. I had to show him a little graduation. <clears throat> I said, you know, you know how much quart is, don't you? Yeah, that's one of them cans, ain't it? When you buy the oil, one of them bottles. I said, yeah, one of them's a quart. Okay. So you know where to put it in at? No. I had to show him where the oil filler cap was. Uh, now this is the same guy that can come to your house and set up YouTube, Netflix, and everything under the sun and put your computer through your big screen out to your patio and back down to your, your man cave all in about an hour. <clears throat> don't run no wires no more like we did in the old days they got something called Wi-Fi yeah anyhow so we kind of got through that and, and and I got to thinking about it and looked in the old boy's truck it's pretty clean like he had all his stuff in order and uh, he went inside and knew what he was going to do I wrote his mileage down and Tag number, of course, we get that every time they fill up. But just kind of correlate. Some of the guys will forget what their mileage is, and they'll just punch in numbers, just punch in numbers. <clears throat> Throws the records off. Anyhow, he come on back out, and I said, uh, <clears throat> you got your tires right there. I said, now, you're going to have to remind me. I'm going to put it in the system, but... Uh, about three more months, we need to get you a set of tires on this thing now. If we don't, you know, get a new truck or something for you. Okay. I said, you know how to change a tire, don't you? No. I said, well, I ain't got time to show you. <clears throat> but we're going to have tire changing class. You'll be invited. So I went and told my boss that. He said, oh, just sit one guy there, you know. We'll get him to the side and show him. Okay. So just out of, you know, what's and giggles. <clears throat> Next day, I got out there and got a bad habit of smoking, so I had to go outside. I'm out there smoking. Here comes another technician in to fill up with water, maybe get a little chemical, turn in some <clears throat> documents, like checks. <clears throat> everything else anyway uh say man you ever had a flat on that thing oh you know how to change flat tire don't you know where the spares at uh not exactly anyway after about five days talking to 10 different new technicians eight of them didn't know how to change the tar so i went back to my boss and told her you know what he said? Like every good boss. 
You're right, handle it. Yes, sir. So, you know, I booked all eight of them new technicians to, from eight in the morning to, to 11 to be at the office for its tire changing class. <clears throat> I never touched the wrench, I never touched the jack handle, never touched the jack, uh, never touched the nut, never touched the wheel, never touched the tar. But them boys, before they left, they knew how to change a flat. <clears throat> and they knew how to get the spare tire out from under a Toyota, a Nissan, and a Ford. <clears throat> yeah, it did. And, uh, Brilliant guys, though. They just, when did we stop teaching common sense? I mean, geez. So kind of while we was doing that, you know, and <clears throat> letting one do it, and kind of pointed over at trucks. You know, the trucks got a little small engine on the back of them for spraying. <clears throat> and I asked everybody, how's y'all's how's y'all's rig doing? While we all here, you know, when something needs something, we can all look at it, fix it together. I'm holding class, all right? You know, I got three hours of time I'm taking. Uh, yeah, somebody perked up. Yeah, my, my, my rig, it just won't fire up. It's been like that for two days. I've been throwing granules out. I said, well, let's go find out what's wrong. So, uh, pull the coal. You ain't getting no spark. You can tell you, you start smelling gas. Get gas and ain't getting no spark. <clears throat> Something like that happens, you have to let it rest for a little while. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> kind of let it rest for a little while. Went back over and got looking at it. <clears throat> and I spotted what was wrong right off the bat. <clears throat> spark plug wire wasn't on the spark plug. And I said, uh, hey, Joey, come here. <clears throat> I see what the problem is. I said, what is it? It ain't getting no far. What does that mean? I said, it means the spark plug ain't working. Where's the spark plug? <clears throat> when did we stop teaching common sense? Anyway, showed him what the spark plug was. He knew what they did. He knew they throw that little jolt the lightning to make the gas explode. Oh, so put the wire on there and pulled it right up. You see, I, I remember when that happened. I was rolling my hose up and it got away from me and the handle on the, on the squeeze sprayer hit that wire and knocked it off. Brilliant, son, brilliant. They nicknamed me the little Marine around there. I think I'm a Marine instructor. Just trying to help them get it right. But we got talking about this and that, you know, out there. And I'm enjoying my little three hours. And <clears throat> everybody gets to put on a tire, take it out, put on a tire, take it out, put on a tire, take it out. Everybody gets to jack it up, let it down, jack it up, let it down. Everybody gets, to, you know, talk about the safety, you know, where you pull over. You don't pull over in a swamp to change a tire. You don't pull over in the middle of the road to change a tire. What to look for? Sandy hard ground. Anyhow, I said, man, that wind sure ain't blasting out of the west today. So I said, yeah, it is. Is that the west? I said, yeah, where's north? I don't know. So you don't know how to tell north, east, south, west? Not exactly. I said, all right. Sun comes up in the east. Sets in the west. Yep. Straight up north. Straight down south. Okay. So where's the sun at? Well, it's... It's still over that way. It ain't got all the way up top. <clears throat> and I said, where's the sun come up? East. I said, so that's east. Yeah. Where's north? 
Ou estes. Não é isso? Tens que. Ah, tens que ah, you know, You know, I get up trying to help me. I said, uh, go over. I said, you know, grab me a ratchet. Grab me a socket three eighths. They learning. I mean, they learning. A little bit at time. Sometimes a little hard on them. But... We have produced a generation of geniuses. But I don't know who's going to change their baby's diapers. Because I don't think they know how to. When did we stop teaching common sense? Jeez. Anyhow. Hope I made y'all laugh a little bit. <clears throat> y'all made y'all think a little bit. I hope y'all maybe uh, think about your fellow man. We all in this together. Yeah, we are. Might as well make the best of it. But we ride it on out. Speaking of riding it on out, let's, let's do some. I was going to try to do Dixie a while ago. Can't remember how to do it. Nah, I better not go there. Anyway, we'll ride it on out with something like this. Again, thank you. Uh, God bless everybody out there. Do what Jesus would do. Man, it's a beautiful afternoon here. See y'all later. Ed Kirkpatrick. Adios. <laughs>